Portia here with Stitch Story, and today I want to share with you my inspiration for my version of a convertible mitten. These little cute puppies right here. So my daughter came home the other day and someone had given her a gift and they were a pair of convertible mittens. And immediately I'm like, oh my God, I want a pair. Now her mittens are from Victoria's Secret. They are super cute, super blinged out. There's bling glitter running through the threads. There's bling on the cuffs there. And so I'm like, oh my goodness, I want a pair. I don't care if I'm matching you. I'm going to the website right now to order it. But guess what? They're sold out. So shame on me. Honestly, I'm a knitter. I'm a crocheter. Portia, make your own. That's what the fates was telling me. That's what the world was telling me. Just make your own. So I was inspired to make my own pair. I was kind of forced into it, but I, I love the outcome. So the only thing though, um, I have the mitts. So, well, my daughter's mitts here, the, the Victoria's Secret ones. I put them on, immediately fell in love with them. But what I did notice is my fingers feel totally claustrophobic in here. I mean, like pigs in, pigs in a blanket. Um, it says like one size, but it's like, I, I don't like it. It's super tight, right? And then even when I put the mitt part on, now it feels like there's just a bunch of fabric here. And yeah, no, don't like that part. So when I decided to make my own, the finger part is something that I chose to let leave off. Now, of course, because I was making them, I could have made adjustments for it in the pattern, but I just chose not to. I like the way it feels with just having your, your fingers come through. It's, it's more uh, flexibility uh, on my side. And so I kept that off, but I totally kept the bling here. That's, that's pretty much what took for me a basic pair of mittens over the top and it made them a little bit more glamorous and and i love the glam i love the bling if if bling was a color it would be my favorite one so if we take a look at my mitts here we have our bling there and then i also chose to use bling in the button the victoria's secret pair just has a basic button but because I'm not basic and I like everything to be bling, big and over the top, I had to put the jewel in uh, right there too as the button. So I wanted to share with you guys my pattern. The pattern is pretty simple. I would call it an advanced beginner pattern. The whole thing is done on double pointed needles. So as a beginner, if you've already had a couple of projects underneath your belt and you're ready to step into something else and learn something new, then I feel like this project would totally be for you. I show you how to knit from the cuff all the way down to the last stitch, which is completing the um, thumb here and then adding the bling and all that good stuff. So that's a two part video. I didn't want it to be too long for you guys, but if you just take your time and follow along step by step, you too can complete a pair of bling mittens and in the, in the pattern you just make adjustments for the length of your palm you can make adjustments for the thumb you can even make adjustments for the cuff here i did shot it to do a four inch cuff because i wanted to have two inches to fold down but um, if you have any questions or concerns about the victoria's secret pair or even my convertible mitt just drop it right below in the comment section i'll be sure to get back to you and would you go ahead and please subscribe to Porsche Stitch Story right below the video here with the subscribe button. And until next time, bye-bye.